friends, this is DMC um, and this is my quick review of Tailors of Harrogate High Voltage Ground Coffee and if we take a look at the front of the pack it says charged with caffeine and this is a number 7 strength um, I've never tried a 7 strength before, I don't even think I've tried a 6 strength um, coffee with this one um, this was £3.50 for 227 grams and the only shop that I've seen this in is in Morrison's I haven't seen this in either Tesco or Asda or any of the other supermarkets so I'm not sure if uh, this is sort of an exclusive to Morrison's uh, not entirely sure about that take a look at the back of the pack it says handle the care this ferocious coffee is our strongest ever Fully charged with the power of Indonesian Robusta. It's ultra high calf and we roast it ultra dark to match unleashing. We roast it ultra dark to match unleashing formidable flavours of tobacco, cedarwood and clove. And there we are, ground for cafeteria and filter and ways to prepare your coffee there. And the best before date on this is April 2018, so just under a year on the uh, best before date on this one. We take a look at the side of the pack. It says, all our coffee comes from independently certified farms and cooperatives. We rely on these growers, so we work extremely hard to build long-lasting relationships with them, investing in their communities and their environments to help ensure both are thriving and resilient. Over the years we've planted 3 million trees and we're now aiming to help protect 1.5 million hect hectares of tropical forest. And this is a UTS certified coffee this one. And most of them are rainforest um, alliance certified but this one's UTS certified coffee this one. It says this coffee was grown by UTS certified farmers who implement better farming practices with respect for people and planet and there we have storage instructions and the ingredients are 100% ground coffee because as it says on the back of the pack this one is a Robusta coffee this one and if we take a look at the ground coffee as a point out usually with Taylors of Harrogate it's a very consistent coarse cautious courses say that again it's a consistent and it's quite coarse this um, the grind on this coffee um, this really does take your breath away when you open the, the bag um, it's got a woody smoky aroma quite bitter smelling it's quite similar to the smell of a sort of French roasted coffee I, I, re I really don't find this um, find the smell of this coffee very appealing a very strong perfumey aroma too um, also I said the same about another coffee recently but it's got a sort of smoky bacon aroma um, to, to this um, and sort of uh, hints of pipe tobacco as well I noticed um, with caution I made me first drink using a single espresso and it is a very strong coffee this one very strong clove taste, uh, very strong clove taste, almost like a visit to the dentist. The um, the taste of clove in this one, um, almost a sort of rubber taste too. Um, I normally do like strong coffees, but I'm not a fan of this. Um, the smell sl slightly turn turn my stomach, um, and the taste has the same effect with this coffee because it is just too strong. Um, you feel like you're one sip away from a heart attack um, when you drink this coffee. I was intending to drink this coffee the same as I drink all my coffees, where maybe have maybe four to six cups a day. But after one cup of this, I had to go go out to the shop to buy another coffee 
to drink because I can only drink one or two cups of this um, a day and after drinking it you don't want to drink any more coffee um, after drinking this one um, even even though I'm not the biggest fan of this coffee I will say it's an excellent Robusta bean that is a real um, positive for this coffee I've never tasted a Robusta bean that um, tasted this good really and um, that's one good thing about it but it, like, as I say I'm not really after a high con um, caffeine con content from my coffee because I drink quite a lot um, during the day um, so this really is mainly I'll have one cup in the morning and then that's it I'll drink something else for the rest of the day because it's just too much for me this coffee um, but I'd like to hear from anyone who's tried this coffee and um, let me know what you thought of it in the comments section below if you like this video give me a thumbs up and if you want to see more coffee reviews in the future subscribe to my channel that was my quick review thanks for listening bye for now